Hey everybody. So a few days ago, I published a video talking about constipation on a carnivore diet, and it seemed to be very beneficial to a lot of people. So I want to do a little follow up and provide some extra support in that area. And so we're going to talk today about if constipation persists, even after upping your fat intake on a carnivore diet, what could the next steps be that you could take to improve that? So first, if you haven't watched the previous video I filmed on the constipation on a carnivore diet, make sure you watch that first. I will link it in the description box below of this video. And then if that is all understood and applied and it doesn't work, then and your, and your constipation is persisting on a carnivore diet despite troubleshooting it and upping your fat intake. What I would recommend is first and foremost, eliminate all sources of dairy from your diet. And that's because it's been reported in the literature that there is a link between dairy consumption and constipation. And it doesn't matter what kind of dairy it is. It doesn't matter if you're getting it from A1 cows or A2 cows, it does not matter all of it seems to be problematic for people who are struggling with constipation that just does not go away. So I would do that first. Now, if you take out the dairy and you're still constipated, then the next thing I would cut out would be eggs. Eggs are one of the top seven most common food sensitivities and people don't even realize that they're reacting to it because it doesn't land you in the hospital with a full-blown um, anaphylactic shock or allergic reaction. It's more of a low um, dose, um, chronic uh, symptoms from food sensitivities. And so you would not even realize that you're reacting to the eggs. And so that would be the second thing I would cut out. And then the last resort would be converting to the lion diet, meaning only eating ruminant meats and water. So things like pork would have to be cut out as well. A lot of the times that all, almost always solves it. So I would troubleshoot it with by doing those things. And let me know, let me know if those things work in the comments section below. I always read all the comments. And um, if you want to see the things that I do, how I exercise, the foods that I eat, I share a lot on my Instagram. And yeah, this is the study linking milk and dairy to constipation. If you are interested in checking that out, it will also be linked in the description box below. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alert you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.